Well, hello, Troll by Dave Spencer, back with you again. And this afternoon, or late this morning, not time, and early this afternoon, we'll be in Telford, We're just outside the car park and the main shopping area of the Central District. And it's a bit like Roundabout City here. It's May 2021, we're still during the Corona pandemic, we're in the English lockdown number three. Just over a week's time, things will ease up again, and by the back end of June, all the Corona pandemic restrictions should have been lifted. It's always wonderful to have you on these trips with us, and you're very welcome. What are you going to see? Who shall see? What you shall see, indeed. So I'll get on with it and we find out what there is. See you later. Bye. When I'm editing the film these days with uh, Reva on, I try and give it the teeniest little bit of a tweak on the colour balance towards blue and away from green. But if you look at the subtle variations, the uh, emergency door there at the back compared with the uh, midships forward of that, uh, completely different colours. Uh, it's a bit like the National Bus Company, they supposedly had standardised li liveries, but uh, they were anything but. I think the staff shuttle's just come in again. I was rather looking forward to, uh, if not being warm, at least treated to uh, the brightness of the sunshine. A bit of the old vitamin D. We've been uh, taking vitamin D tablets because uh, sun has been in such short supply. Not like 2020 when we had our first lockdown and everybody was treating it almost like a holiday. Very little colour other than the uh, fleet livery, nothing really root branding or anything like that. A thumbs up to say it's fairly ubiquitous here. Thumbs up, smiles, waves. You see, there had to be something good about Telford. Telford and the surrounding towns or villages was once home to a whole host of smaller operators, independents as we called them and still tend to do of the, uh, the smaller concerns. Perhaps I should have uh, you borrowed Mandy's umbrella and uh, used it as a windbreak. My Chinese five pound one has now cost me 15 pounds to replace. Mainly because it costs a pile in postage. Last time it got sent all the way from China, post free. Same make, I think the whole thing cost me a fiver. But it does the job. One press and it pings up, one press it pings down. It's uh, 
transparent plastic so you can see what's happening about you. Anybody going to back out? Who wants to back out of this now? Come on. Somebody's got to go for it. There we go. Well, this is a bit better, isn't it, than when we started. Oh, it was bereft, veritably bereft of buses. Now we have them by the shed load. Well, seeing that reminds me we, as yet, have not reached Wolverhampton this year. See how they've done with the extension of the tram to the station. Used to be one of the busiest bus stations in the country at uh, Wolverhampton. Really well placed for photography. Actually, if you go to the uh, sort of rear exit it's uh, some come in that way it's on the dual carriageway and uh, if you sort of stand back don't go inside or you get shouted at of course but um, you can get some nice shots there as I do quite regularly this one's going to come right up so we can't get a shot yeah lovely Sun is coming out again now. Yeah? I don't know if it's interesting or not really. It's like buses just moving slowly, isn't it? He's gonna try and tuck himself around the uh, the escort vehicle. Which just happens to be passing as far as I can see. Um. Well, uh, to use the technical term, they've uh, now got the road completely banjaxed and all the buses are now stuck in traffic. I can't really understand what's happening. There's some guy who does escort um, <coughs> services uh, for the police. Um, he's got flashing lights on his old uh, car and uh, they're now blocking off half the road. There's a pedestrian crossing there. It's outside the bus station. Why they just didn't move the vehicles? There's no injuries. Uh, you could have just taken some pictures, moved them. So that, as per usual in this country, let's make a mountain out of the wheel. And it's completely stuck, so nothing's uh, moving. I'm going to go on to Osmond Street and I'll catch up with you there. How's that?